Good evening everyone, and welcome back to Request Night. Uh, so, unsurprisingly, I think, given its popularity at the moment, uh, Valheim was uh, quite strongly requested uh, in the Discord. Uh, I'm going to click Start Game, and we are now literally as far through this game as I have ever been. Um... Is it just me, or does this seem like incredibly low res suddenly? Is there some graphical option I'm missing? No? Okay, fine. It just is weirdly pixely. I was expecting it to be a little bit more detailed than that. Guess that one then. How much blondness? Fine. It doesn't allow um, special characters. Wait, this isn't my personal one. Welcome to the wonderful world of how I generate names. Okay, fine. So that is off. I was not entirely sure. Good. Some single playering can happen. I'm not like inherently against multiplayer, but I like to somewhat curate the people who are involved. Um, especially on stream where I actually want this to be a, a friendly and positive environment. I'm going to be really disappointed now if this just loads for like the next hour and we don't actually get to do anything. I have a cursor. Oh, there was a screen briefly. <gasps> okay, we have some text. Viking Star Wars. Long ago, the old father Odin united the world. He threw down his foes. <laughs> and now all I can see is Odin in a dance battle. Um, and cast them into the tenth world? When Odin heard his enemies were growing once again in strength, he looked to Midgard and sent his Valkyries to scour the battlefields. Okay, cool. So it's very Viking. <laughs> Whee! <laughs> oh, I love how ridiculous this introduction is already. <laughs> I mean, are you expecting me to do something here? Or are we just going to fly forever? Oh no, looks like we might be crashing. Don't drag me into the tree, please. Okay, cool. There's some stones. Hail. Ah, it is Hugin. Okay. So we have to slay some Forsaken in order to ascend to Valhalla. Cool. And I just exploded Hugin. Oh no, okay, Hugin's over here now. If inspected closer, this one will reveal the summoning place of Aikthir, your first prey. He is a mighty beast. Okay, cool. That seems disturbingly close. So we've got attack, secondary attack, block, dodge. 
Ooh. Apparently I just improved a skill. <laughs> you are wet. Oh, I'm a child is what I am. Skill improved. Okay, so you can improve your unarmed skill by punching trees. Oh, hello. Just as well we improved that unarmed skill, really. Okay. Oh, hey. We picked up a branch. And some wood. Can you tell I'm used to, like, this sort of thing in a Minecraft setting where you get the wood by punching trees? Yeah. Train that skill. Unarmed six, somehow, already. Okay, we need six wood to craft a club. Okay, it's a compendium. Skills, trophies. Hello. Is this Hugin again? Yes. Just pick things up and it will all come back to you. My lesser brother Munin tells me one can fashion a stone axe out of wood and stone. Yeah, don't say. Need to find some, like, random stone first. I mean, unless... Hey yeah No, okay. Cannot... punch a stone. Ha! Collectible stone. Okay, you need four stone for an axe, and two stone for a hammer. So now it's a case of... Yes! We are Valheiming. I was not expecting the double collect there. Oh, okay, no, that was the starting place. <gasps> A grayling! Let's punch it! Yeah! It dodged. Or to put it another way, I missed. Oof. Okay, stone axe. Bizarre. So now we should be able to fell a tree. Look at all of these woodcutting skills. You can't just hold the mouse button. That's slightly annoying. Okay. Apparently that log does not want to fall. I'm guessing that means the Grayling has seen us.
Come back here. Cool. Got a bunch of wood. Cool, so now we should easily be able to craft a hammer. And now we can build some new thing. Wow, we can build all of the things, apparently. Oh, hi. Hugin is back. Start by building a workbench, which will allow you to construct other things. You know, I did not realise that's what a workbench was for. Crafting. Workbench. We can do this. Okay, we can't build there. Ah! How do you cancel? Yeah, that would have been a good idea, thank you. <laughs> or in fact, any other number, just like, don't be on that tool. <laughs> Want to climb the mountain and build on top. I'm going to build a workbench here. Genuinely bricked myself then and not realising that was just Hoogin coming back. Complex items. Yeah, I, I'd noticed all of the extra building pieces. Wood beam 26 degrees. Well, okay then. Crafting station needs a roof. Really? You not have told me that before somehow? Oh yeah, you gotta love the big bird. I mean, it is Hoogin, so I think you can excuse the fact it's a big bird. And the question I'm interested in is, do you also get to see Munin? In the meantime, we're just going to beat up some trees. Oh, apparently we now have beech seeds. Which presumably means that we can uh, go on holiday. Uh, I might get this wrong, but my understanding is that Hugin and Moonin were the... Um, they they are Odin's ravens who are supposed to represent I want to say like wisdom and memory or something I have some people I could ask uh, or I could just google it later but Oh, 
Wow! <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, that was great. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you see, I'm used to sandbox games where you cut down a tree and the tree immediately loses all of its collision boxes. <laughs> I wasn't expecting it to fall towards me and immediately kill me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I mean, you know, there's a reason that I put things like first playthrough in this, so that everyone knows I'm a scrub, <laughs> and they know what they're getting in for. <laughs> oh. I'm glad you're enjoying it, Seth. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, that's a big tree. <laughs> yeah, give me my items back. Vengeance! That'll teach you. Haha. -ha. Murder the logs. Nope. Wow. Oh, no, no. Whoa. Aha. Okay, you actually can't do anything by just punching the log repeatedly. You can do something by punching the log repeatedly. I'm not sure if it's hurting the log or the tree more. Oh, yeah, you get so much wood from that. I'm just currently really enjoying the fact that you can use a log to chop down another tree. Oi! You... I'm kind of on the wrong side of this cliff now. Wood gate. Wood wall 45 degrees. Oh, okay. That's definitely not what we want. We could have some wood floor, maybe? We need a roof. That was actually a thing we needed, wasn't it? Next question. How do I get this roof positioned? About like that, I guess. But what if I don't want thatch roof 26 degrees?
What if I want some form of flat thatched roof? Actually, how impractical is it to have a flat thatched roof? Yeah, probably. <laughs> the flashing okay you have to build improvements fine can we build any improvements we can build a cooking station fine for now let's just continue with building a little basic shelter here Probably. And I figured you could repair tools. I was just trying to, like... There we go. I missed the flashing button on the side. Evening rain. Yeah, I was uh, spotting the apparent randomness. Okay. Hey, you missed my first ever death already. Yeah, didn't realise that trees actually hurt things when they fall over. So we chopped down a tree just now and it literally fell on my head, killed me dead. Just... Like, how fast can you die in this game? Incredibly fast is the answer. Probably want it outside the door where it's easy to get to. You are getting warmer. Oh, curses. I put the wrong side of the wall pointing in. Oh. 
furniture. Oh, okay, you need like a ton of wood to make a bed. Squishy, squishy. No. Oh, that's so true, though. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Ow. Super timber. That log is too hard. What are you doing over there, you lazy raven? And the bed almost has a roof. Uh, is eating a thing, and also how do you do it? And also, yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Uh... So what you're saying, I'm guessing, is I should get a foob. Follow-up question, what constitutes a food? <laughs> what do you want now, silly raven? I mean, you literally dragged me away from the open flame to tell me that. <sighs> oh, I did see some mushrooms, actually, I think, didn't I? Were there not some mushrooms down over this way somewhere? That's a dandelion. That's... That's not a food. Not unless you can make dandelion and burdock, but then we'd need to find some burdock. And also, technically, I guess that would be a drink, not a food. But apart from those minor problems... Oh, hello. You appear to be an animal. I don't know if you were friendly. I guess we'll pick up a stone while we're there and it's available. I mean, I could see that in as much as I never much liked Dandelion and Burdock, and I also don't like Dr. Pepper, so... <laughs> Oh, 
Ooh, that looks promising. Berries! Num 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 num. You bring tidings. You have found a snack! You can't eat more raspberries! Yeah, and for now, I think what we'll do is we'll try and finish, like, the building. Um, and once we have a proper base of operations back here, we can uh, look to expand. Hi. You come back here. on press M then select an icon on the lower right then double left okay so I should for example be able to go poof on that why can I not poof the death marker or does that one stay forever Right, okay. Like, I like death markers, but it's also useful if you can, like, turn them off. Stump. That fails to surprise me. <laughs> Also, I, like, weirdly enjoy the sort of classic runescape element of this, where it's like, you just level up all the skills by using them. New material feathers. Yeah, fair. And it seems like a good way to do it. Jump.
We're just going to make like a tiny little shed to live in for now. Because at least it gives us some sort of protection from the elements while we do other things. Oh, I've just worked out what the angled walls are for. <laughs> it's taken me this long, but... Oh yeah. That log is too hard. Everyone loves a hard log. Wow, that actually sounded even worse when I said it out loud than I expected. <laughs> <laughs> what even is the hearing version of blinking? That's fair. I just genuinely don't know what the equivalent would be. Oh, will you... You yeet off a cliff. I don't want a wood wall 45 degrees though. I want like, ah, there we go, wood wall 26 degrees. I don't know, actually. It's an interesting question. Doing invalid placement. There we go. So, like, it clearly fits together. Why are you snapping it there and then telling me you're not allowed to? Construction work is so fiddly. So I have to admit, I kind of just enjoy any sandbox game that gives you this degree of control over construction. So, I actually need to rip up the workbench, because... Oh yeah, because now we actually need to place a workbench so we can build the floor, but... I actually quite like the snapping. Haha, -ha, we have a spawn point. Excellent. Also, 
Let's actually put the cooking station outside. That seems more sensible. Misk. Wood stack, stone pile, raft. And yeah, that does seem really cruel, honestly. Okay, that can give us some light when we're in here. Right. Next order of business, food. Eight leather scraps? Really? Hi, you're a boar. Hi, you were a boar. Oh, you mean like the um the actual like loop system bit for them rather than the aids themselves? Am I just not understanding? Look, just because you aren't near a cliff doesn't mean I won't yeet you. Really nice. I should actually probably like I can craft that here, it's fine. We got a bonking stick. I might just make that the name of the VOD when I upload this to YouTube. We got a bonking stick. Mushroom. Oh. I'm now wondering if I learn this game well enough, could we do bonk stick percent? <laughs> oh, I thought you meant, like, finish the game, but you're only allowed to use the bonk stick. <laughs> bonk. What you want is to have, like, enough character creation options that you can make your character have, like, tiny thin legs and really broad shoulders, so that they kind of resemble an ambulatory club. <laughs> Who are you? I am the bonk stick. Bonk. Can't bonk a tree. Uh, Bonk Lesnar goes with Kenny Logging. <sighs> I 
I mean, the problem is, if you extend this to other tools, then Army Hammer already exists. <laughs> Ooh, that was a flint, not a stone. I wasn't even paying attention. Hey, stop hiding behind the tree. Bonk. These graylings love being introduced to the bonk stick. Yeah, I, I could see being scared of them, to be fair. Thankfully, they are not sufficiently spidery for me to be afraid of them. Why does that rock look like a weird evil frog? <laughs> yeah. They just come to be introduced to the friendly bonk stick, and then we introduce them... And then they leave. Wait, what? Do not want evil frogs. Ooh. Deers led me to mushrooms. Thank you, deers. Harvesting mushrooms with my bonk stick. Hey look, there's a grayling friend. And some rasps. Okay, I think we're slowly resolving this whole food situation. It's like we should be able to also do that. I mean, there was one of my old IRC channels where there was someone who always did like the phrase put a banging donk on it. You could put a danging bonk on it. I'm back. I need your hides. Curses. I thought the lyrics of the song were actually slightly different to that. Ah! It is a weird evil... It's called a neck? Well, okay then. Doesn't even give you anything? Honestly. Talk about selfish. At least it wasn't shellfish. Okay. It has been a long time, certainly. <laughs> Such flint. Oh, hey, we have more stamina now. Or is that just because we, we've eaten more? They look more rasps, but like really nearby rasps. I guess I should try harvesting dandelions and 
Gonna eat you. Oh, you ran away from the cliff. So, we introduce you to the bonk stick. We got the resin. Cool. I think that does make sense. Yeah. I was just thinking while we're here, we should cook the meat food as well. Oh, okay. So you actually have to actively build the cooking station over the fire, which does make a certain degree of sense. Don't stand too close to the fire. How do I take it? Okay, like that. Aha! We have engaged maximum foob. Oh, no, that wasn't the club. I'm sorry, I mean the bonk stick. Come back here. I need to introduce you to the stick. Aha! More leather scraps. I feel like once you actually get the first few leather scraps, life starts to become easier. Hey, we have shelter and rest. Bed needs a nearby fire. Okay, so what, you have to build the fire inside? That seems dangerous. Let's keep the food. I'm guessing there's probably like some other, um, like an indoor type of fire rather than a campfire you can get later. Oh yeah, it's probably not going to work very well right now, is it? Because I just put all the resources away. Oh wow, we also definitely need more wood. You are exposed. Yeah, okay, that works. Day three. That's still too hard.
I wish the trees would stop falling on me. Does it weather soften? Like, honestly, the level of detail this game goes to, I will absolutely believe that if you tell me it does. Oh, insanely fast. I imagine there is already a speedrun record for it. I mean, I entirely believe it could be sub two hours because it's early access, so I would imagine there is like some ridiculous like sequence break or something somebody's found. Okay, we now have a sensible amount of wood. Yeah, like, that seems like the kind of thing that would happen, Rain. Yeah, but then depending on the rules they have, you just pick a seed. And once you know where it is in that seed, then... Yep, yeah, so they are already on it. <laughs> Oh, it's dandelions next to a stone. It looked like a dead grayling. Wow. That is a way of defeating a boar. Just walk up, bash it with a bonk stick. I mean, go for it. I'm also slightly concerned by the fact that the raspberries often look like apples, but... Also, these are giant raspberries. Yeah, it seems pretty fast. Thank you. 
I mean, I feel like you probably could beat it fairly easily. Like, okay, I've not actually gone to have a look at the first boss yet, but it's the first one. Rasps. Need to find more mushrooms. That's what we need to do. Look, if you wanted to be introduced to the bonk stick, all you had to do with. Oh, wait, you're not a grayling. You're a gray dwarf. That's a different. Ooh, there's a lot of them here. There's one with a star. I mean, I am all alone, more or less. Ow. Running away now. Trophy collected, apparently. Hello. I mean, yeah, go for it, Lottie. Also, Rain, if I ever get to travel for work, I will take you, or to any of the test places, I will take pictures for you. Like, you would absolutely love it. Okay, that's just a stool. That's what, like, a bit of a ruined tower? Uh, but yeah, I work for a company that does a lot of stuff in the auto industry and occasionally we get invited to go to, um, hello, uh, like actual track test sites and stuff. The hell are you, Hugin? Okay. I'll uh, turn back then. Yeah, it seems like it might be your kind of thing. 
not so much with the F1, to be fair, but... Um, like, yeah, there's occasionally opportunities to, like, get to see new interesting cars being tested and developed and... That's close enough. Wow. You can tell I kind of get into sandbox games. I've only just realised how long this stream has already been. Made longer by that random initial tree-based death. Haha! <laughs> Multi-kill. Uh, and I have no idea. I have never yet been on any of the uh, the testing trips we occasionally get to do, so uh, I really can't tell you that much. How many leather scraps have we got now? Still only got five? We need, what, like eight? Teeny house teeny house with a bed. Okay. I mean, for the sake of fairness, you don't get to go on every one. It's like one or two people get to go to each, so... But, yeah, you know, it's... I think we actually do have an office in Sweden where they do some of the winter testing, so... If we had an office in Norway, then I'd be going every time I got a chance to, but... Oh, yeah. Hiding in the long grass, just jumping out with my axe. Uh, so it's not a track, I don't think, specifically. Or, like, not a track as in the type they use for motorsport. It's, um... Uh, they use it for the, like, winter weather and ice testing. Yeah, so we mostly sell to car manufacturers rather than being a car manufacturer ourselves, if that makes any sense. So close. Need one more. We could make a hoe. Chopping block needs 10 flint. Oh, we've actually only got 7 flint. Oh, but... <gasps> bonus! Aha! Snipey, snipey! Mossy severed head of a grey dwarf. Delightful. The milky eyeball of a grey dwarf. 
Um... <laughs> Do you? Yeah, thank you for that incredibly useful piece of information. <laughs> Whoops. So apparently, you can overcook food. Apparently, I made a cooking station here? It's not my fault this game actually put thought into details that don't exist in most similar games. What's all this realism doing in my escapism? Um... But in theory, we should now be able to go hunting. Why does this look, like, very deliberate? If I run around here, is something going to jump out the ground and maul my face? At least it's not just me. I know it's a thing in Viking culture, it's more a question of like, is that actually supposed to be what it is, or... Yggdrasil. I mean, that's properly enough, at least. I don't know how to spell it in runic.
Wow, the arrows drop so fast. Yeah, I should probably think about going home. Yeah, we got some more leather scraps at least. We could actually like make ourselves some clothes or something. What a novel idea. Another random house. There's nothing wrong with wanting to play again. Gotta keep an eye on my meat. Oh, so am I, but that's kind of why I phrase things that way. Also realised that I was looking the wrong way for the water that we went to before. Because that seems like a good place to get flint. And also there were more deer down there. So I can uh, practice my archery skills. But at least Rain can be happy now, because I actually have, like, food. <laughs> Hi. Did you want to be introduced to the bonk stick? Apparently so. They do like the bonk stick. Also, completely forgot to make clothes, so... Guess we're just out in the underwear again. Oi! Is it just me, or does the phrase neck tail not really make any sense? A 
Aha! Got a deer. got away. They are basically just hell frogs. Actually came here looking for flint. Or, you know, if we're going to go back to referencing old TV shows, we didn't come here looking for trouble. We just came to do the Red Dwarf Shuffle. Flint, flint, flint. Flint, 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 flint. Oh, yeah, we definitely need a foods. Uh, bum, bum, bum. One of those, one of those, one of those. I not remember the name of these things. <sighs> Whoa, hello. Oh, a neck trophy. So, this is part of my problem with the fact that they decided to not call these hell frogs. Is you end up with ridiculous phrases that kind of don't make any sense. No. Yeah, probably. Won't be allowed to speedrun it if you mod it, though. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm at least going to finish the game before I start, like, modding it or anything like that. Yeah, if I like a game, I mostly start contemplating how I would start writing it myself. now have 10 flint. Plus, I think we have a few back in the, the little shelter. Yeah, so I'm, I think that's part of the problem if you just decompile a big complicated project. Because, like, there'll be a whole load of stuff that it took the people who wrote it a lot of time to work through, work out what was going on, what they needed to do, all that sort of stuff. And you kind of come in at the end, but without any of the context. So it's like, you could probably get there. Yeah, it's not going to help either.
But, I mean, even if you just have, like, the game and none of the other stuff around it, um, that's still going to be a problem. So we found the sea. Oh yeah, I forgot that being wet is a thing, and that I should also change to the bonk stick. I actually don't really want to be going too close to that marker, do I? Oh no, it's that marker. That marker's fine. Oh, fudge. I keep forgetting how far the arrows drop and how fast they drop. Hooray, another boar trophy. Yeah, it's... It's really just throwing me at the moment. Okay, that wasn't too far off. There you go. Slowly starting to get the hang of it. It's almost like I only tend to play snipers. I wish they didn't sound like Minecraft piglins, though. Approaching encumbrance limit. We've got a bunch of deer hide, a bunch of deer trophy. charge up the muddy hillside. Ooh, mushroom. Just as well you can't find badgers in this game, isn't it? Yeah, that's going back to a very old meme. Fixing the fact that our house appears to be floating. Yes, yeah, the one, Rain.
Ooh, a flint spear. Flint axe, flint knife. Pair all of the things. Oh yeah, I forgot we were actually trying to do that. Oh wow, we need um, lots of leather scraps and lots of flint. No, that is what I wanted. No, that isn't what I wanted. What did I want? Somebody help. Probably a tanning rack actually, isn't it, to make clothes? I was just trying to make clothes, but I guess I'm just not entirely sure. Something. Oh, okay, necktails are cookable things. Oops, I did not realise I'd actually put something on that uh, cooking rack. This savoury charcoal grilled meat has a slight aroma of seaweed and grass, which sounds disgusting. So there is a doof over there. How do you, do you reckon we could, like, go fight a doof now that we have a knife? Fine, let's go do it. Gonna go kill us a doof.
Why does this axe not appear to be doing any more damage to the trees than the other axe did? And I also feel like we should be able to start, like, whittling away at boss health with the bow before we actually, like, close at all. So, now taking bets on how fast I die. Oh yeah, I forgot blocking is a thing you can do. I appreciate the reminder. <laughs> I don't even really know what I'm looking for at this point. Oh no. <laughs> Make the correct offering at their altar and they will come. I mean, I'm guessing this is, like, a Grey Dwarf um, trophy. Oh, does it? Oh. Fine. I did not read that last line correctly. <laughs> I think we've got at least two deer trophies, haven't we?
attack me. That torch is actually just getting in my eyes now. So if nothing else, our run skill should enable us to escape very effectively. Ooh, another glowy redstone. Wow. I actually know an elf. <laughs> the elf I know is a lot more intelligent than that one. <laughs> We already investigate this house. Yes. Damn it. You can't, like, randomly pull down other people's houses. I mean, it makes sense for the multiplayer side of this, but... Yeah, but then that's effort, and I don't care that much. Okay. That sounded ominous. Repair all of the things. Wee. We need to keep an eye out for more mushrooms as well. We're uh, starting to get a little bit low on the old mushroom front. Yeah, repairing... Repairing seems almost under-designed compared to the rest of the game. Like, there's so much detail in so many parts of this, and repairing is like, eh, just bash this button until everything's healthy again. So, yeah, it... I really hope it's a placeholder, certainly. Like, I'm inclined to believe it is. Like I say, just from how 
how much better thought out so much of the game is. Uh, it almost has to be, but... Um, <laughs> Oh, for sure. Okay, I actually just removed both at once. A bad is happen. Oi. Yoink. That was not the correct sound effect. Did not dodge in time. Ooh. Hey, don't run away from me. Also, please don't run towards me. Like, ideally, just stand where you are and do nothing. Oh! That's why it wasn't working. I was pressing the wrong button. was um, not part of the plan. We're going knifey. Knifey, knifey! No, run away. There we go. Return to the sacrificial stones with your forsaken trophy. Okay. Yeah, that wasn't as bad as I expected, even if I am terrible at all games. Um, as evidenced from the number of times that lightning hit me. 
and the fact that on two occasions I forgot how to eat food. <laughs> um. Hang on, where are the sacrificial stones? Oh, definitely not. I mean, I could make an argument for the Raven of Wisdom being on my side, because Bow's definitely really good against that boss. Like the, I'm just going to stand over here while you bonk off trees and uh, keep shooting at you. But now we're not fighting a boss, so it's definitely time for the bonk stick again. Unless we find more deer to hunt. Bonk stick is not good at hunting deer. is it doing here? See, I've not been able to get close enough to a bonker deer. They all run away too fast. Where do I sacrificialize? Aha! Ooh! Ah! Sneak is a useful thing. Cool! First of the forest, king in the wood, lord over those who dwell at his feet. His roots will grow where cities once stood, their blood his wine, their flesh his meat. Okay. Uh, drawing a bow cancels sneak. I don't know why you can't do sneaky bow things. Go press E. Oh, do you actually have to, like, use the trophy? Thank you. I should have spotted from the fact it says E, activate power. I just read the effect and thought, cool, that's a good effect to have. And didn't realise that it's not just a passive effect. Sneak, 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 sneak. Bonk. <laughs> You know, you really should not have taught me how to sneak. <laughs> There's going to be so much sneak bonking now. I don't know what gives you the idea I'm enjoying it. 
after two hours of running around hitting things with a bonk stick. <laughs> oh yeah, we need more flint again, don't we? We need, like, approximately all of the flint. Yeah, boar, boar, boar. Oh, you saw me. Stupid hell frogs. Oh wow, it's like a whole family of hell frogs. <sighs> deer. I don't know why I'm whispering like the deer can actually hear me. Go away! need to learn how to make like pickaxes or something unless the bonk stick can mine rocks it cannot Yeah, I will do when we get back there. I want to um, collect enough flint while we're away to uh, start looking at building some of the upgrade things. So to actually get like the tanning station and the um, chopping block. Because then if we can upgrade some stuff, we might also get uh, access to generally better gear. And this seems to be a good place to hunt for flint, so. We've got eight now, given that we started with none. But we still want like 25, I think. And you know, we'll stop and hunt deer every so often because why not? Honestly, kind of tempted to just move the, the entire camp down here. And then we can build like a little dock and have a raft there. And it'll be cool. Yep. Activate the power of Bouncy Bouncy. I believe that's what this one's called. Oh, no. Don't Bouncy Bouncy too much. There we go, we got it. We could build a house that was also a bridge. Although also there's nothing stopping us building multiple houses, but... Ooh, skill improved. Swim. Whee! 
bit what yeah I can do anything I want to that's what Bob Ross has always taught me it's your world you can do anything you want I mean, fair. Wait, what was... What? Who acid did it did me? There were bees? I think I was too busy bouncing to notice the bees. Flint. How much flint have we got now? Oh, we almost have enough flint. For now. This is going to be so horrendous when flint tools actually need flint to repair them. Oh. We now actually have enough flint. So... We'll just keep an eye out for some spare on the way. Bonk. There's no one here. Don't run away. Bonk. Oh, yeah, no. I. So it's the logical way to have the tools repaired, but at the same time, it will be horrendous. Doing a swim's gonna drown. Yeah, I'm just going to get back somewhere safe before I do that. Hmm, random bird. Oh, it's a grey dwarf again.
You are wet. Don't tell me things like that. Grr. What happened to the nearby fire? Did it go out? Yes, apparently. Zzz, it's those bees again. This is my grandfather's axe. Okay, we need the wood and the leather scraps. Oh, we might not have enough leather scraps. Yeah, we don't have enough leather scraps. Curses. Okay, so we just need deer hide. If only we had a supply of deer hide. And quite a lot of raw meat. Okay, just upgrade everything, I guess. There we go. Also, clothes. Now I've kind of vaguely worked out how clothes work. I think that was probably the other interesting thing fighting that first boss when it was just like also we're doing this without blocking and with no armor because I hadn't worked out how to clothes
I mean, like I said, it's once you work out how bows work, it's not so bad. It's just then becomes a case of what on earth has happened to that bow? Um, right, time for the bonking club. Oh, I was also going to have a look for pickaxes, wasn't I? Pickaxes seem like they could be relevant. Flint head arrow. Ooh, requires feathers. Fire arrow. Also requires feathers. Antler pickaxe. Perfect. Oh, also how big the map is, yeah. So many things on the list. Uh, yeah, that's um, a bit of a chunky map. Ha <laughs> oh, wait, you can also dig into the floor with this? Where's the bird brain? Over here. Ooh. I mean, I imagine they must have to have some sort of base level still, but... I mean, I would imagine at the very least it does a sort of diff thing. So rather than needing to save everything, you just save relevant diffs. Wasn't I trying to think? Maybe Dolman was the word I was trying to find earlier. Should we read this one? Wait, you can tame boars? I've just been introducing them to my bonking stick. Well, okay then. Kind of expected it to be a bit tougher than that. Bonus mushrooms. Do you go towards the blue glow or away from the blue glow?
I mean, I'm assuming I'll, like, clearly see the tin and copper and stuff when we find some. But also, we do need more stone, so... More different types of trees. I need to get better at hitting moving grey dwarves. Whoa, hi. Okay, trolls are not pleasant. Right, now where did that troll go? <laughs> Apparently the troll did not like the forest, which is good to know. It seemed to prefer kind of sitting around the shoreline somewhere. Was that it? How did I miss a troll? We will defeat the troll. Says every content creator ever. Um, I'm very good at, like, taking out saplings with a bow, apparently. Yeah, the thing is, saplings aren't moving or particularly trying to kill me. Mm. 
knife is such a good weapon. Whoa, troll butt. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Knife. I swear it was here a second ago. I got stuck on something. I am going to count that very much as a victory. Oh, I wish I'd seen that. I mean, I kind of feel a bit sorry for the troll, having seen how easy it is to take yourself out with a tree. But... <laughs> I have to admit, though, I can definitely see this making it into the, the regular rotation of games. Oh yeah. Just dig a mine. Or a troll coffin. I didn't mean coffin, I meant grave.
We're now actually starting to wonder if you could do that. Like, just dig a big hole, lure a troll into it, and then just, like, drop a tree on it. Cold, we're wet, it's dark. Just want to get home. Well, next time I stream it, we might try and find out. Uh, but yeah, it's been a long week for me, so I am going to go to bed and then. Uh. What? Do we need to, like, kill a grayling? Uh, but more importantly, do we need to, like, build a shelter over this fire? Uh, there we go, the fire is working again. Keep pressing the wrong key. Okay, so you have to be not wet to go to bed as well. Yeah, that's why I'm putting the door, like, to one side of the fire. Safety rails, also a good idea.
let's chop up some stuff here that seems to have fallen down and crushed our campfire. Uh. Why does Hugin not show up until it's too late for him to actually be useful, I wonder? Okay, now we have a safe place for the fire to live. Definitely not. Uh, I agree with you. I, I will join you in toggling him off. I'll put it that way. And the problem with this is it just seems super dangerous with all the smoke. But I guess at least we've got a nice slanted roof that's going to draw the smoke away from uh, anything else. Wow, we, um... Yeah, pretty much. And we also, uh, I've just realised, desperately need more arrows. Okay. Meat cooks slower than tails. It's a good thing to know. some stuff away. There. We can put away the old stone axe. Oh hey, we have that in two places. We have that in two places. This needs so much tidying up. the things. It'll be an interesting thing to find out next time it has bad weather. A T 
team. Oh yeah, okay. The problem is we haven't got enough leather scraps. So we need to hunt animals. Uh, somehow get out of that door. So hunt animals. Actually, I think that's really what all we need to do is just hunt animals. But that is going to be a job for next time. Uh, it has been a while. It has been a lot of fun learning how this game works. Uh, for sure. Yes, lockout. Um, so I'm definitely going to be coming back to it. We will see where it goes. Uh, we will probably be back on Subnautica again tomorrow. Um, going back to hugging more chelicerates and seeing what new stuff is in the story there. Uh, but definitely expect Valheim to be coming back uh, in the imminent future. Um, I'll probably switch between this and Subnautica a little bit for um, the Sunday and... well, not Sunday, the Saturday and Monday streams. But, until next time, thank you all for joining me. Uh, have a good one. And I will catch you next time. Bye for now.